Hey guys, we are back at the 2019 AWSI here in Hood River. My name is Crystal with the Kite Meg, and we are here at the Ocean Rodeo tent with Greg. So, Greg, what is your role with Ocean Rodeo? Uh, so, I'm actually with Alula Composites. So, um, Alula has been working with Ocean Rodeo to try to make and develop these materials um, to make lighter and better kites. Ocean Rodeo is calling what they're developing for their lighter weight kites, they're calling that the Alula Project. So, they're one of the things they found as they're experimenting with our lighter fabrics is all these different areas that they can take weight off after flying with some of the lighter kites. So even with conventional materials, we're achieving higher and higher performance with our conventional kites. So originally we were just saying, or they were saying that you have a kite, you have a Lula material, whereas now we've kind of had this um, envelope of a Lula project with Ocean Rodeo. So it, it's kind of a greater umbrella um, of our higher performance materials and higher performance light wind kites. What's the intention with the change for the kite surfing industry? Well, I think for Ocean Rodeo, it's just to deliver a better product to the customers, um, especially those that are facing those light wind conditions. It has been really surprising when, because I'm a foiler myself, so taking out these these kites in stronger winds, um, you, you know, we, we find the performance has been increased there as well. Starting in September to December, that's when we're pushing out a bunch of kites um, for brand ambassadors and magazines to test. And then they're launching kites in January into the spring um, for consumers. That's, that's the goal right now. The main thing that we're talking about is the weight. So this here is one of the uh, kite materials we're using for the leading edge. So this is the best stuff Ocean Rodeo could find and it's giving great performance for some of our kites. We're, we're matching it with the conventional uh, Dacron materials we're using. Um, but we're using this as a comparison for something that's around 150 grams per square meter to our stuff, which is 65 grams per square meter. So not just the uh, tensile test, but actually the resistance to tearing is an interesting property that's come from using the composite. So uh, with Reese here, we're gonna demonstrate uh, the tear test between this material and the Alula. So this is the Dacron, and this is a 15 pound weight. We're gonna hang off of it. So this is the same 15 pound weight hanging from a piece of Alula. 30 pounds, this one. 52 pounds. And this one is a whopping 88 pounds. The strength of the Alula is obviously a major factor, but another awesome thing I keep hearing about is the weight of it. So how does the weight of an Alula kite compare? Right now we're just working on our conventional kites, which we haven't gone to the one strut or no strut kites yet. But our three strut kite, we've got one down to 2.8 pounds with the new bladders and new material on the leading edge compared to the industry standard, which is around seven or eight pounds. It's lighter than any of the no strut kites on the market. It's been very exciting for us, especially for foiling where you want that really light kite in light conditions, but still have the responsiveness of the full uh, airframe. It's, yeah. very, it's a very exciting material and it's always exciting to see brands innovating something new. So I'm very excited to see the kites at the market next year and uh, hopefully get a chance to fly one this week here at AWSI. Yeah, thanks a lot.